The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Was, uh, first of all, we had good weather, and then uh, I think it was uh, the game that was in the continuity of our home season because we played 19 games, we won 15 at home, uh, had two draws and two losses only, and scored more goals than ever. And uh, so it was in the continuity of what we delivered at home. The team played with a great spirit as uh, they, they have, and. Uh, Apart from that, it was as well a very sad day because for me, uh, uh, I came here to make the first photos when uh, the lorries came in with a deposit for the rubbish, you know, and uh, so uh, this stadium I've seen uh, worked on every single part from your press conference uh, to the technical area. So, of course, it's part of myself. And, uh, but as well, uh, it's a day where people behind me can work in good conditions and I'm quite happy for that. Awesome. If your replacement should ring you for advice, would you take the call and what would you tell him? Uh, I think it's better I don't speak publicly about the, the next manager because I'm not involved in uh, in the story and I do not want to put any pressure on the club to choose this guy or this guy and uh, to give already a handicap to the guy who comes in because he has not uh, been chosen or was not my my decision you know it's I have nothing to do with that and uh, I just think uh, he inherits a team who is uh, much better than people think it is and uh, I'm convinced you can see, you know, uh, the to togetherness that is in the team is special. And uh, with the right additions, this team will, uh, will challenge next year. What were your emotions in the centre circle at the end there, Arsenal? Yes. Uh, fortunately, you know, uh, in my job, you, you, you learn to disconnect from your fa yourself and uh, you don't... Uh, analyze anymore how you feel. Uh, for 20 years I just felt, okay, forget about you and just uh, for, uh, care about the problems you have to sort out. And I must honestly say, when you have s uh, such a long time in a job and people uh, ask you, how do you feel? You, you think, why does he ask me that? I don't know how I feel anyway. I have to learn to reconnect with myself now. I have a bit more time. Awesome. you come to terms with? Are you still sort of processing the fact that you're not going to be here next season? Or are you quite no, you you uh, you will be happy. You have another face in front of you next season, and a younger face. So, but uh, apart from that, I, I have to deal with that. Uh, it is a, a, a story that ends, and uh, I can see it. Uh, I, I see it in one way. Look, guys who managed 22 years a club of that stature. You have not many. So I can only say, my friend, you have been very lucky uh, to have such a, 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 a comfort to work for such a long time for a club of that stature. And on the other hand, I have to think as well, uh, I will cherish every minute I, I, I was here, but as well, it's a start, a new start for me. Tell us what, tell us what the, the, the emotions that felt. Um, the, the fans in the stadium, two or two a man, they all, uh, and women, they all stayed until the, until the very end. They all gave you this wonderful reception. What does that mean to you? It, must mean to what it, it, it means that uh, 
even if your owner door is happy, they still uh, respect me and wanted to show me uh, that uh, at least they think I gave my total commitment to do well. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that is, of course, uh, that's how I, I see it and how I take it. And uh, they know that my commitment was genuine, total, with complete integrity. And uh, so I take it uh, as, of course, a big compliment. Awesome. Awesome. What does it mean to you to have that gold trophy and where might you keep it? I don't know. I have to see where I put it, you know. Uh, uh, it was a surprise to me, but uh, I don't know. Uh, as so, as so many things happened today. From the morning I woke up until uh, now, you know, I have to, to see, organize it in my life. I want to finish well the season because we have two away games. And maybe uh, for next season it's better we win the two away games now. Awesome. You'll, you'll be a fan pretty soon. Mm. How long until you're sat in the North Bank? I don't know. In the North Bank, uh, I would be happy to sit in the North Bank, in fact. But uh, I don't know if it, it depends do I work somewhere else or not. That, or, what, or what do I do? Or will I, in the job I do, will I be free on the day Arsenal pays? I'd be happy to be in the North Bank. If you can offer me a ticket, I will come. <laughs> <laughs> you have one, Amy, fantastic. Does that change your view of. Do moments like this change your view of whether you want to? to keep on managing because... You know what the positive uh, of that is? I can shout at the next manager in the North Bank. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that, do you think that uh, you, uh, we're a song that, that we get stadium, that you would like to have the stadium? Sorry? Statue. 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 Do you think there'll be a statue for you at the stadium? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Many highlights, Last many one. highlights. You can go back in 22 years, many highlights. What would you say were the top three? Uh, could you summarise the top three highlights in that time? I cannot. Honestly, I cannot because... Best, uh, best goal, best timing. I uh, don't know. Uh, it's too short for me. I have to take a little bit of distance, you know, with all that. And uh, after sort it out and uh, there are many highlights and... Uh, the moment uh, I have to to think about all right, 22 years, you know, I, I, I think I played 840 Premier League games. You know what that means? How many sleepless nights that means? <laughs> Before the game, after the game. <laughs> so I have to think about all that. Okay. Awesome. Ed Edward's in a state of shock about Sir Alex Ferguson at the moment. Yeah. It's very touching to hear you mention him at the top of your speech on, on the field. Can you just put into words your sense of shock and your feelings about this? Well, because I, I was with him on the pitch last week. I went to see him in the box after the game on Sunday and uh, one week later he looked in the perfect shape. Uh, he told me he's uh, doing a lot of exercise and uh, he looked very happy. But uh, that kind of accident can happen, so we wish him all well and uh, to recover very quickly. He's a strong, strong man and is an optimistic man, but uh, nobody knows exactly. Uh, I got call, uh, calls last night from Manchester and nobody knew exactly uh, what, uh, what, uh, what it is. Awesome. You, you always said that you wanted to, to make people happy yeah. over 22 years. Did you make yourself uh, Sometimes uh, to make people happy is to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, uh, no, I want to make people happy because uh, I have a certain idea of the game of football, the football to be played. And uh, I, my ambition was always to win with style. When you're a big club, I think you have that responsibility. And... Uh, <coughs> for the supporters to have a special experience when they come to the club. And uh, that was always my target, but what do I mean, uh, making people happy? Oui, sur le terrain. Je pense qu'un entraîneur prend toujours du plaisir quand son équipe euh, exprime le plaisir de jouer ensemble. Et puis, euh, cette équipe, elle a une qualité spéciale à ce niveau-là. Donc, euh, Moi, je suis très fan de mon équipe, même si euh, Alex Hearn a beaucoup déçu cette année. 
mais je pense qu'il y a des ingrédients dans cette équipe qui, qui montrent une vraie classe et une vraie envie de partager le jeu collectif. Dans le club aussi, on a vu les joueurs, le staff, les supporters, tout le monde avec vous aujourd'hui, ça a dû faire un, un bien fou. Oui, parce qu'on est dans des, des positions où on ne fait pas toujours l'unanimité, donc euh, les rares fois où on l'a fait, ça fait du bien. Right, just before Arsene goes, I'd just like to invite um, John Cross up from the Daily Mirror, one of your friends, Arsene, from the media. <laughs> occasionally, occasionally. What, Arsene, I just wanted to, to say a few words on behalf of, um, uh, of all the members of the press here today. So I've written you want down, to make the day really uh, emotional. I've, I've, written, I've, written, I've written a speech, I hope you'll forgive me, I'm, I'm a better... Um, get the microphone out, a better reader than I am, a sort of a, a writer than I should, should say, a speech maker. But um, Arsene, it really has been our pleasure working with you over the last 22 years. I know we've had some ups and downs, but my word, we'll miss this and we'll certainly miss you. You changed the game in this country from delivering fantastic football, glorious football, amazing memories, to the stadium we now stand in, as well as incredibly memorable sound bites, despite often claiming never to have seen it, of course. Uh, we in English football owe you a huge debt of gratitude, we really do. I think and I hope you appreciate within the, the, the tributes of the last few weeks, there has been a genuine and very heartfelt affection towards you, not just from the football fraternity, the luminaries and the greats of the game, but also those amongst them. All of us in this room reporting on it towards you. I've been very fortunate, uh, I must say, to, to have covered you and Arsenal throughout the last 20 years and having watched the club for an awful lot longer, I can honestly say they've never had it so good. There's no escaping, there's been some criticism along the way, but the fact you never hold a grudge, never duck a question and are always respectful just shows what a class act you are as, as both a human being and as a football manager. You've touched us with your humility and compassion, when one of our own, Danny Fulbrook, passed away, the club, led by yourself, made a wonderful gesture, which the family, who have asked me to pass on a letter, which I will do so, will never forget. It's the same for others. Your personal heartfelt words to give to Dermot Drummy's family last year touched them and gave them great comfort. You've touched lives way beyond football. The Football Writers Association will never forget your intervention to raise money for the victims of the Grenfell Tower at our event, at our event last year. When your presence was announced, it instantly became a sellout. That is what people think of you. And it's why the FWA, along with myself and a few others, would like to show our appreciation and present you uh, with this, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> present you, I told you I wasn't very good at making speeches, um, present you with this very special, special bottle of wine here. I know, you're, you, I know you know your red wine, so I hope you will like it, and even more so that it comes from 2004, so it will never be beaten. You've been, you've, been, you've been wonderful for me personally and for so many other people in this room. Oh. say I will miss you as well. <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't want to say in fact. <laughs> but I wish you well and uh, we see each other certainly at uh, big tournaments starting in Russia next uh, month. So it's been a pleasure, not always, but, <laughs> but overall I must say I felt even that you have to do your job, I felt always respect. Uh, when I was face to face and uh, hopefully we felt that as well for myself. I know that uh, to do your job today, even in the press, is very difficult. And uh, that you had not always the choice to really express what you felt. And uh, I know well enough the press as well that it's very difficult. So thank you and uh, wish you good luck in the future and hopefully you will see great games at Arsenal Football Club. Thank you, bye bye.